Southern Swing makes it into the state of Oklahoma. We're here with Rivals 100 Safety, Daxton Hill. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good. Today was your guys' first day of, of spring ball. Now, what is it like putting the pads on, getting out? I mean, actually, you're not in shoulder pads, but getting out there, running around and under the uh, hot Oklahoma sun. Uh, I feel great just getting back out here with all my teammates from last year. A lot of them came back, so it was good being on the field with them again and just uh, just making another run for the state title this year. And, and you're going to definitely be one of the leaders of the team as a, as a senior to be and, you know, obviously very talented player. I mean, just talk about that leadership role. Oh, uh, yeah, I know I, I'm probably one of the uh, – probably the – the leaders on this team, so I know I got to step up and just, uh, just motivate other everybody else around me, and just encourage everybody to just keep pushing, and just, and just keep doing what they're doing. So that's I think that's what what my main priority is this year, just encourage other people. You don't do a lot of interviews with with the media, just not your style, or you know, is it just. How, I mean, we're happy to get you here today. I mean, just not a lot of interviews. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they just don't come to me. I guess I don't know. But, uh, but um, we'll get right into your recruiting. You have got, you know, all the all the, the major offers out there. Um, mm -hmm. Ohio State's one of the schools that's in after you. You've been talking to uh, Coach Giano and Coach Grinch. What, what what has it been like, the, the, the communications with Ohio State? Well, I've been in communication with them for a while. So, I mean, I know a little bit, a little bit about Coach Grinch, but I know I've been talking to Coach Giano for – for about a year now, so I've got a pretty good relationship with Coach Giano. But uh, overall, I just have great communication with them. Just hopefully, I can just keep in, keep getting better relationships with them. What 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 is it that they that they're telling you? I mean, obviously, they've had a lot of success putting corners in the league, and they've put some safeties in the league too. I mean, the corners in the first round. But what else do they tell you besides that? Uh, just really the whole. The whole campus is really just a great place to be. The academics, they're one of the top schools, so that's what they talk about as well, just academics outside of football. And I, I know another thing that they've really got a lot of uh, publicity about is the Real Life Wednesdays, the Life After Football, whenever that may be. Is that uh, something else, too, that they've uh, uh, kind of hammered? A little bit, not really, but I think they talked to me about it a few times. So mm. Now, I think a lot of people think it may be tough to even just get you out of the state. You have a brother at Oklahoma State. Obviously, Oklahoma's putting together a tremendous class. I mean, what is it about the two in-state schools and, and what, what they're doing right now? I mean, they're, I think they're probably like the best, the be two best teams in the Big 12. So I know they're pretty hard on me and just staying in state and just competing at the highest level in the Big 12. But I mean, I know it's always a, a tough competition between the two top teams in Oklahoma. So I think they're going head to head and really just how hard they've been on me. Does Oklahoma State get extra credit for having having a family member there? Uh, no, nah, really not. That doesn't really uh, make my decision. I just the what's best for me. You've got an official visit coming up here soon. Well, mm -hmm. Where are you going, and when is that going to be? I'll be going to Alabama, and uh, I think that'll be sometime in June. So I'll be doing that this 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 June. Now, mm -hmm. is the goal just to maybe do like the one summer official, and then do the rest during the season? I really don't have my schedule on the officials, but I probably I'm looking at probably taking three in the summer, and I think two in the fall. Ohio State got a good shot of landing one of those. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Um, uh, and then when are you? When do you think that you might sit there and try and pare things down, maybe to you know a, a smaller list of schools that you're looking at? I mean, how how do you see that all shaping up? Uh, well, I have a top six right now, so I'm been just communication with those, and so. I mean, from there, I'll probably just commit from the school I have from those top six. From those six. And uh, and Josh Proctor is an Ohio State uh, signee. He's from the greater Tulsa area as well. He plays safety. You guys know each other, right? Yes, sir. I've been knowing him for a while. I think we, we went to the same middle school, so I've been knowing him for some time now. He, uh, he'll he be enrolling at Ohio State here over the summer. Does he get in your ear a little bit about Ohio State? Uh, I think he has a, f a few times, but he really hasn't been in my ear too much. But I know whenever something comes up in a, on Twitter about Ohio State, I think he's sometimes in my ear, sir. So. We'll, we'll, we'll finish up with this. What What's going to put a school over the top for you? What's going to make a school the school? Uh, wh wherever God lead me and just – Wherever I just see myself playing and where I can best fit and get on the field fast and as well academics.